right now guys we are going with you along the only lane that we have for bikes so that is this lane it is 100 meters <laughs> the duration of this lane I will try to show you that is the sign, the bicycle. <laughs> and that is the road. It goes up to my house. <laughs> About 100 meters. So let's go to our Dutch community. I will make a bicycle tour for you. And tell you about the sweet boxes that I Sent on Monday. That is the entrance. For those who asked how this system works, we have a special card, and also it is opened by the guard who is in that building we have security here only during summer season during the winter season the gates are closed all the time we have special keys to open the gates but during summer the gates are open and only that schlock baum so right now we are going with you along the main street, the main road of our Dutch community. That is the border to the right side and to the left side you may see a few streets. By the way, that is our management building where we pay for our dacha. So we pay our dacha bills here. So about the sweet boxes. As I have already told you, on Monday I went to my post office with seven boxes, seven sweet boxes. I did not expect that there would be some problems. So guys, have two big bags, almost at the post office, so hope there won't be a lot of people. That is our post office, Почта России. Hope you are lucky. That is our post office. This box is for letters. That is for correspondence for companies. Here you may also buy some books or newspapers. And here also a lot of boxes. It took about two hours for the girl to pack all the boxes, to check everything, to write something in her computer. The girl was busy during almost two hours. When I came, there were not many people, maybe one or two persons. And while she was packing all my boxes, the long queue appeared. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, they were not happy because they were waiting for about 40 or 30 minutes in that queue. Some of them wanted to pay their bills because on our post office it is possible to pay different bills. And also some people were waiting to post their boxes. I caused a lot of problems to them. All this is our Dutch community, very huge. If I'm not mistaken, about 600 houses. But during winter time, just a few people live here. Здрасте. Как вы далеко гуляете? Ой, мы вообще везде гуляем. Да? Our neighbors, they live here constantly. Most of people spend only summer season here. Most of the people here live in Fryazino and in Moscow. So, what were the problems? First of all, I did not know that not everything is possible to send to you. There are some restrictions, some goods can't be posted and it depends upon the country. To some countries these goods are not allowed to send to the other country another goods. And every time when she opens the box she took her big book <laughs> and checked thoroughly whether it is possible to send or not. I posted a few boxes to the United States, to Germany, uh, where else, to Portugal, to Canada, and the uh, most difficult situation was with Portugal. Some special kinds of sugar you can't send to Portugal. That was really strange for me because I thought that sugar is not dangerous, uh, but there are some restrictions. Some kinds of sugar you can't send to Portugal. Also, there are problems with um, uh, chocolates. I don't know why, uh, but they also checked chocolates very thoroughly. So, in other words, there is a big list of uh, things that you can't send to another country. Dried fruit, for example, some kinds of chocolate, uh, some kinds of books. There are a lot of restrictions concerning different things. And uh, I did not know this, well, just because I never posted so many sweets simultaneously. Also, there were problems with the parcel to Germany because the person wanted uh, to have uh, some list of goods for their customs. And it turned out that our post office can't provide these documents. I don't know why, but they said that my parcel is very light and that is why they do not give such documents. Also, I wanted to ask you, do not send money before you get the exact price for your country, because to any country the delivery is different. The most expensive delivery is to Australia and maybe it will be <laughs> a surprise for you to India. So I thought that America and Australia uh, would be the most expensive countries um, because they are very far from Russia. Uh, but it turned out that America is not as expensive as Australia and to send to India is two times more expensive than to send to America. Well, I don't know why, but the delivery is two times more expensive. So guys, please, before you send your money to me, uh, please uh, write a letter to me where you tell me the name of your country and uh, the region where to deliver because every time I go to the post office to ask how much will be the delivery to your country uh, because well first of all the prices may change because today it may be one price tomorrow it may be another price so it changes very often here and every time I go and ask how much it will be to send to your country 
Yesterday I filmed the video about my sweet boxes, what were the problems, and today I went to the post office with uh, some boxes. I posted a few boxes to United States and to Australia. And uh, yesterday I got some comments from you with uh, ideas. So right now I want to discuss these ideas with you. So whether you will support this or not, please write your opinion in the comments. So the first idea is every two or three months a new box, a new sweet box. For example, a Christmas box, I don't know, the box with chocolates, the box with cookies. So every time the new box. And the second idea was about um, the countries where the temperature is very high. For example, I know that it is extremely hot in India in summer. It is very hot in Florida. And I was offered to send boxes without chocolates. We have uh, different kinds of biscuits and uh, different sweets that do not melt like chocolate. And um, for such hot countries, it may be better to have uh, these uh, boxes without chocolates. I packed everything into extra packets. <laughs> well, just in case maybe the chocolate melts and uh, it won't spoil the rest of things. And also I wrote to everyone the email letter and asked you to tell me whether it is okay or not okay with the parcel when you receive it. For me that is very important. So as for our post office, <laughs> you never know what may happen. And every time that is, well, just a challenge whether it arrives in a good condition or not. So, but I hope that everything will be okay, that all the parcels will be in a good shape, in a good condition. Hope that everything will be fine. Also, I told you about some restrictions. Some goods can't be delivered to this or that country, so every time they check very thoroughly whether it is possible to send this product to you or not. They have a big book <laughs> and every time they consult this book. Uh, very thoroughly they check Australia, uh, Germany and uh, the United States. <laughs> so sanctions came in ordinary people's lives. Oy, a lot of rules. Some products can't be sent. They check ingredients, whether it contains uh, some components that are prohibited by law. And these rules change almost every day. So I went on Monday. She checked during two hours all the boxes. She read the ingredients. So just to be sure that it is okay. And today she also checked everything because she said maybe some new rules <laughs> because we have new rules almost every day. So everything was okay. And in case if it is not possible to send this or that thing to your country, in this case I will substitute it with uh, some other product that is not prohibited. So I may change a little bit. Usually the parcels to Europe go during 10 days, uh, to America during two weeks, about 15 days. Uh, to Australia also usually 15, 16, 17 days. So a little bit longer than to Europe. Uh, but uh, at the post of Russia they say during one month. So I think that they want to be sure that uh, during this period the parcel uh, will be delivered. But usually it takes about two weeks. So as it is my first experience with uh, sending so many sweets at one time, I decided to make this video just to explain everything to you because uh, I get many comments and I can't uh, answer to everyone in 
details about the delivery from Russia to other countries. So hope this video will answer all your questions. If not, of course, you are welcome to ask your questions in comments. So I will make another video to answer your questions. So guys, I hope that everything will be fine. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for your support of my project. Goodbye. See you soon in the next episode. Пока.